Joining us now on the phone is Mustafa Dumbuya, a journalist who is based in Juba. Mustafa, thanks for joining us. First, bring us up to speed on what's happening on the ground now. Last we heard, the army had actually surrounded a UN base in South Sudan where those fleeing the violence were holed up. Is the situation as threatening as it sounds? The situation is really quiet in the capital right now. This fire seems to be respected at the moment by both fighting factions. People here are moving around the, city, the main street of the city today. But I also saw cars passing by, mainly few of them. I want to around the town today, and uh, you can see fairly few people moving around, but as usual, though. Quite a number of people have started moving back to their homes, but all to go back because they are not sure what will happen next. They said they are scared of renewed fighting. Okay, I'm, I'm having a bit of difficulty hearing you. I hope our viewers can hear you better than I can here in the studio. But let me ask you, what's behind this escalation? There seems to be plenty of finger pointing, but no clear explana explanation of what actually happened in the lead up until now. On Thursday, on the on Thursday, seventh of this month, there was a an intensification of security in the capital Juba, mounted by the SPLA army, and it was alleged that the SPLA IO, which is the south, the SPLA IO, which is the forces of the fourth vice president of the country, Dr. Riak Macha, shot five soldiers of the SPLA, and that led to shooting on Thursday night. But that situation was quickly responded to by the president and vice president who had a question on the Friday, the following day on Friday to address the issue. While the meeting was going on, inside the presidential palace, shooting broke out outside between the two forces, between the the vice president's forces and the president's forces, and that fighting has continued, continued on to yesterday. Okay. Mustafa Dumbuya, we will leave it there. I'd like to thank you so much for joining us.